Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I saw most of you guys are facing the issue on this particular lab so here is updated solution for this lab and in this video I am going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just me login with your credentials and once done with that come back over here and activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile in the description box of this video I will share one github link from there you can just me access all this document so first of all what you do we have to just me copy this command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and then just click on authorize like this way now just may wait for the this command get execute and it's finally done now here you can see vertex ai link and my processor link so just me open both the links in new tab like this way okay now just me come back over here so here is a vertex ai tab then click on this enable or recommendation api and then click on this workbench now click on this user manage notebook Now if you are not able to find the Jupyter Lab in this tab, then you can just check in instance. Now click on this open Jupyter Lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds, so just may wait for that. And it's done now click on the terminal over here now again come back to the github repo scroll down now here you can see run below command in jupyter notebook so just me copy this command come back over here paste hit enter now wait for the this command get execute and it's finally done now i request to please pay attention over here so as you can see first of all this file document ai synchronous okay synchronous file just me double click over here again i am seeing first of all you have to open a synchronous file from here you can just me check now what you do come back to the processors over here okay now here you can see form parser and orc processor so just me open this orc processor in new tab okay like this way now here you can see form parser just me click on this link and now here you can see form parser again i am saying form parser copy this id over here come back over here and make sure that it must be the synchronous file now just me replace the processor id over here like this way now click on this now if you are using a windows machine so just me press ctrl a or if you are using a mac so just me press command a like this way then click on this run and then click on this run selected shell like this now if you just me hover over here and from here you can just me check the kernel status so just me wait until it shows the ideal so now it's ideal now what you do once you're done with the synchronous now you have to open a asynchronous file so just me double click over here and it's open asynchronous file now for the asynchronous file you have to come back to the ocr processors over here and from here you have to just me copy this id copy that come back over here make sure that you must be on asynchronous and for the asynchronous we have to use orc processor id so just me replace that now just me click over here press ctrl a or command a like this way then click on this run and then again click on this run selected shell if you just me hover over here and from here you can just me check the kernel status so now just me wait until it shows the ideal
and it's finally done. Now you have to just come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task. If the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry, just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue. It may take a couple of minutes to update a score, so no need to worry about that. If you can see on last task, I'm not getting a score. Just simply wait, keep hitting on the check my progress and you will get a full score on this particular lab for sure. I hope you guys like the way I solved this lab. If you do, please give one thumbs up and comment down below. Is this helpful for you or not? Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.